Divi has a brand new feature called Divi Column Options. It also comes with a brand new editing interface. This now changes how we design all our rows and columns, and I can't wait to show you how this feature looks. And also, if you haven't bought Divi yet, if you buy it using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my course called Divi Blueprint. It teaches you how to use Divi and also how to design professional looking websites. All you have to do is to buy Divi using the link which I've provided in the show notes below. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let me show you what's new with this feature and how you can start using it. Okay, so over here, I'm in my admin dashboard. Let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm just gonna click on add new. Uh, let's call this new feature. Click on use Divi Builder. So the column options works with pre-made layouts. It also works if you build it from scratch and also works on your existing pages. So in this example, I'm just gonna build everything from scratch. Uh, let's start by adding three columns here. So first of all, when you take a look at this, it looks like nothing has really changed, but if you mouse over between these columns, you see this plus button. Now what this does is it just adds a new column. So if I click on this plus button, it adds a new column. So that's an easier way now of adding a brand new column. Now, the changes here, in fact, before we go into the row settings, let's add a color to our section settings so I can show you what is really happening here. So I'm gonna click here on my background and let's add a black background. Go ahead and save. So now we can actually see where all these changes are happening and exactly where I'm working on. So as before, if we come over here to our row settings, we get access to our design tab, which, get, which allows us to uh, adjust the sizing, the gutter width and so on. So this is still the same, but what is brand new here is this column structure. So this interface here is fantastic because we can drag and uh, position our columns, and that will just update what we have here on this canvas. So if I click on this drop down, we also get the ability to choose the column structure itself. So if let's, let's say I want to flip to three, now I've changed this to three, and we also have a different uh, column uh, options. Okay, now it's quite difficult here to see what I'm doing without actually adding my content onto these columns. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna save this for now. Let's go ahead and save changes. So here I'm gonna add, let's say a blurb because it's quite easier to see my demonstrations here with the blurb, okay? So with the blurb here, what we're going to do is to perhaps maybe add an image and then we're going to adjust this uh, text here. So I'm gonna come over here to image and icon, choose my image upload an image, so now we have an image, and then over here now, let's uh, change our title, or in fact, let's uh, change our font to pop-ins, for example, make this bold, and change the color. In fact, let's leave the color as it is, and save. Okay, so if you're looking at this, you'll be thinking, okay, well, nothing has uh, really changed here. Well, let me show you how cool this is. So if I come over here, we, uh, as I mentioned before, we still can go in and add our row settings. So let's say for example here, I wanna add a background color. So I'm just gonna add a lighter gray so you can see the differences, okay? So here I've added my lighter gray. So that shows that the row settings now uh, color has been applied. And we can still go in here, go into spacing and also add my left and right padding here. So let's say I add 20 just so that we have some breathing space for my content over here. Okay, great. I wanna save this. Now, let's say I want to add a color or a background color to this column. How do we do that? So before we used to go into uh, the column options, it was hidden in, uh, I can't remember where it is, but it was hidden here in the row settings. But now, check this out. We can actually go to that particular column, which is the first one here, click on this gear icon, and we can go in and add a specific color just by adding it just like that. So now I've added my color to that column. And we can also further go in and make some more changes. So let's say I want to add some padding because my text here is way too close to the edge. While I'm in my column settings, I can click here on design and then go to spacing. So over here I can add left and right, 
So let's say, let's give this about uh, 14. I can also do, th do this to the top and bottom. So in fact, let's use 20. I think 20 is better. Okay, so now we can see I've added 20, both to the top and the bottom. And just to make this design look nice, I'm also going to go in and change the color of my text over here, okay? So to do that, I need to go into the blurb settings. So I'm gonna save this, save this one more time. And now I'm gonna go into my module settings. In fact, let me reduce some of this text. It's a bit too much. There we go. So that looks, that's looking much better. Now I can go into design text. I can align everything to the center here. I can also go into my title text, give this white, and I can go to my body text as well. Change my color to white. Change my font to pop-ins. So that's looking much, much better. Okay, so now that I've done all this, um, the quickest way here to add more content over here to these two is to just duplicate my content here, my blurb, and add it over here, which we're going to do now. But notice, you'll notice that as soon as I do that, you won't have this background color that I have here on this first column. And that is because the column settings here have not been updated. But let me show you that. So I'm gonna duplicate this, drag it over here. And as I mentioned, you'll notice that it won't have a background color. I'm gonna duplicate this one more time, drag it over here. So one quick thing I also need to do is so that you can see uh, that my columns I'm working on are different is to go in and change this image here. So I'm gonna go in, and we're gonna change our image. Let's choose something different. So let's go with, okay, let's go with this one here. Click upload. So now we have some, uh, some food there. I'm gonna save that. And then over here, we're gonna change the image one more time as well. So I'm gonna come over here to image and icon, and then we're gonna change that image as well. So the one I'm gonna go with is, let's have a look. So we want a nice large image here. So let's try that one here. Okay, great, so that, uh, that, that actually works. So let's go ahead and save. Now, to go back into our column settings, or our row settings, we just need to click here on this gear icon. And uh, within that, this is where we get the column structure. So let me show you how that uh, rearrangement actually works. So if I drag this, notice that now this one here is now in the middle. Okay, so all you have to do is to just drag and change position. Simple as that. Now, um, we also want to have a background color to these two, which means I'll have to go into this gear icon and start doing all those changes you know, over and over again. But to save us time, notice that if I come over here on this top, uh, on this middle one here, which is the one that we've made changes to, I can right click, copy item styles, and then I can right click on the top one here and paste item styles, just like that. So now notice that we've actually gone in and you know, copied and pasted our settings, our column settings that we um, borrowed from the middle one here. Now let's go back to column three and do the same, paste item styles. In fact, let me copy here and paste item styles. There we go. Okay, so now copying and pasting actually works between these. Okay, so let's say the space between these columns here is a bit too, it's a bit too much. How do we fix that? Now, we don't do that in the column settings. We now need to go to our row settings. Click on design, sizing, and then we can adjust our gutter width, reduce this to about maybe two. So that's looking really good. Great. Now, if I need to change the background color of this one here and that one, well, it's simple. All I have to do is to click on, cont uh, on content, and go into that particular column. So again, I'm gonna click on this gear icon, click on background, and now I'm gonna change the color of this. So let's go with, um, I know I'm not being creative with the colors here. Okay, so let's see. Anyway, you know what? Let's just go with the lighter gray here, just like that, okay? Save that. So I'm gonna copy item styles, and let's do that to the right here. So now we have this one right here in the middle standing out. So we may think, okay, there isn't a much, go, uh, much going on here. All we've done we've, is uh, add the column structure here and that's it. But here's the thing. You can actually add quite a lot of styles 
to these actual columns. So for example, if I come to this middle column here, click on design, I have all these options here I have to my disposal. So let's say for example, I need to add some animation to that. I can just click here on animation, add a bounce to that. So when I load my page, I will have that animation there, but I don't want animation for now. I'm just showing you that that's what we can do. Now over here on the transform, we can actually trans uh, do go in and add our transform settings. So let's say for example, I want this slightly bigger. I can just drag this ever so slightly to about let's say 106. And let's say I wanna add some uh, a, um, a hover effect. I can also click here on this hover effect and then change my size, make it slightly bigger here to about, let's say, 112%. And this is what happens when I hover over it, okay? Now, what else can we do? We also have filters here, so we can play around with filters. Uh, over here, we also have borders. So, for example, if I come here to border, I can actually add some rounded corners to the one here in the middle. So, I think I'll go with four pixels. Great. Now let's say the spacing here. Uh, we need we need to add some breathing space in our row. To do that, as you can see here on the top here, we are in the column settings. So we need to go back and make sure we are in the row settings. And then now we can go into the design spacing and we can add our padding uh, inside our design like that. Okay. So let's just add maybe seventy. Left and right is fine. And I can also come back over here and uh, uh, make this bigger. So instead of, in fact, let's make it about 90%. And over here on our maximum width, I'm gonna add 90% as well. Okay, so now we've made this and, uh, and finally center it. So now we've made this much, much uh, bigger. So now uh, let's say you want to um, add uh, more settings. The main thing that you have to re uh, remember here is when you're in the row settings, you're actually designing this row itself, the one that has this darker gray. And if you want to go in and individually make some changes, you need to go into the actual column. Now, there's also one cool thing that we can do here. So let's say I want to add a link to this uh, middle column here. So when people come over here, they can actually click on it. Well, it's quite straightforward. All you have to do is to click on this gear icon here and see where it says column link URL. I can over, I can come here, choose this uh, YouTube URL. I can paste it in here, just like that. And then I can open this in a new tab and save this. Okay. Okay, so now that our design is complete, let's save, let's save this design. In fact, let me reduce my padding over here. So my design is all in the screen. Okay, so I'm gonna save this publish the page, and then we're gonna do a quick preview. Okay, so I'm gonna exit the Visual Builder. So this is now our design. So now we can see this is clickable. It also has a hover effect. So if I click on this, it's gonna take me to youtube.com. So this is how you use the new column options in Divi. In my opinion, this, is, this makes it easier for us to work with our columns and also our rows. So I highly recommend that you go ahead and update Divi to the latest, um, to the latest uh, version because that's the version that has this latest feature. And as I mentioned before, if you haven't bought Divi yet, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my Divi Blueprint 3 course, which gives you everything that you need to know about designing websites and also how to use Divi itself. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.